Howdy Pards, Mr. Holster here. This is a VR to I carry one. He's having a little contest where you can win this fantastic scope. And I'll put a link to his channel to the video. Well, I'll put one right up here. And, and down below, you can go check it out. You might want to get involved, see if you can win this package he has by uh, Pinty, I guess is the name of the company that makes this scope. And it's, it's more involved than just a scope. You should go check it out. And part of the deal to get in the contest is to do a VR to I carry one, which, yeah, I, I, I'm glad to do that. He's one of my favorite channels. I watch all his videos. And part of the deal is you give a shout out to other channels you watch that you like because that way other people might not be aware of them and then they might check them out and then find channels they like. So I'm going to start with a short list. It's yeah, it's kind of a long list and some of these people have, have uh, a lot of subs but still you might not know about them but check them out anyways. The first one is Shootin' Bill. That's Shootin' as in shoot I-N B-I-L. Bill. Shooting Bill. Been watching him for years. I enjoy him. He's a good shot and he has a lot of good information there. Number two is a good friend of mine, Linequist Fitness. He's a former law enforcement officer and I enjoy watching his channel a great deal and Greg's a very knowledgeable individual and, and he's one of these fellows that's actually, how do I put it, sane. Yeah, I'm like Mr. Holster. The next one is one from down under, down in Australia, and he has a channel where he goes out and looks for gold. And I really enjoy watching his channel because he he was he and I have a past in the same business. Yeah, so I put it that way, and that is Famo Fifty. Nine. That's F A M O five nine. Check his channel out. He's a great guy. I really enjoy watching his channel. Last one I'm going to throw out there. They really, you, you probably, probably have a good chance you've seen these fellas because they go out and do shooting ex, ex exhibitions. They ah uh, they do shooting exhibitions at different things, and they happen to be neighbors of mine. That's why I'm mentioning them. Give them a little plug. Although they got like. 20 times the amount of subs I do, but still you might not know of them. They're younger guys than me. They can still get out and do things. And they're very, very good shots, and they're also good humor. Yeah, they got good senses of humor. The Gould Brothers. There you go. I gave shout-outs to several channels. If you've never heard of them, you might want to check them out, give you something to do. And there you go. There's a quick little VR. It's not going to cost you too much of your life. Only three minutes and, and ten seconds of your life. You'll never, ever get back again so far. But I'm going to drag it out a little more. Otherwise, Jack's going to get mad at me. Because the one the other day, oh, man, he was furious. I, I think I only had 17 seconds of your life and never come back in. At any rate, so before I leave you, I'm going to tell you a little story. Because I, I feel like it. And, and that way I can suck up more of your life. Back in the day, I, I think, I don't know if I've told this story or not, but I've, but uh, I was working for an individual who was a really annoying person, to put it mildly. And he had a, a car that, uh, the car annoyed me too. There's something about a Rolls Royce, the front seat just is, it's like sitting in a giant mattress, it annoys your back at some point sooner or later. But he, he was one of these types They used to tell stories about President Johnson being one of those types that used to swat the back of the heads of the Secret Service with a newspaper. And basically, that's, that's the type of thing we we're talking about. At any rate, we were downtown in the big city, and that summer they were ripping up, ripping up everything in the city. And he was very insistent that I speed up because we weren't going to get to his destination in what he felt was a timely manner. And I kept trying to tell him, first off, that we were going the speed limit. Second off, I don't think that was a good, that's a good idea. And he kept annoying me to the point where I decided, fine, if that's what you want. Knowing full well that the road we were turning on is one they were ripping up. To, put, to short the story real quick, that the rolls by the time we got to the destination was making a horrible noise because we went a little too fast on that ripped up street. 
and and we bet, bent the motor mounts and the fan was hitting the shroud on the radiator until it made a hole through it. That's not really a hole, more of a more of a, a 12 inch gash along one corner of it. But he got what he wanted and I was happy too. Well there you go, there's my little story for all you people that hate hate people with Rolls Royces, maybe you got a chuckle out of it. Till next time, for Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. Oh, Jack's going to be disappointed. That was only five minutes and 45 seconds of your life. You'll never, ever, ever get back again. Sorry, Jack.